Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can colour using washi tape and give you some fun ideas about how to use washi tape in your drawings and artwork. So welcome back, if you're new here, my channel is all about creative colouring and sharing fun tips and techniques that you can apply to whatever the art style or creative projects you like to work in. So for this tutorial today we're going to be using a load of different washi tapes and I have two different sets here. I have this set of washi tapes and this one was from Dover Crafts and it's the Blooming Lovely set and it comes with six different tapes and I like buying the washi tapes in sets just because you get a nice coordinated colour palette and that can be easier if you're applying it to a drawing. And then the other set that I got was these little tiny ones here and I don't have the packet for these anymore but this was from the Scrap Collection. So as you can see, all lovely coordinated and different types as well. There are some that are on white backgrounds, some that are triangles, some that are stripes, some hearts. There's a really nice variety. And the other nice thing about these sets is that there are different different sizes. And this is important when you're applying the washi tape to your, to your page, your artwork, whatever. It's good to have different sizes so you can do borders with some, you can cut some into different pieces and fill larger areas. It's just really useful to have a selection of colours and a selection of different sizes. The other thing that you're going to need is an X-Acto knife. And I'm using, using an X-Acto knife to trim and cut all the washi tape into shapes. So I'm using a page from the Breeze colouring book. There's an Etsy link to this colouring book in the description box below. You can of course uh, follow along here with me and use this page. We're using the Arty Time page. But you can also draw your own drawing, print out your own colouring page. You can use whatever you like. And as you can see, I've already done the skin, and if you would like to see how I've done the skin tone, then there's a tutorial on how to colour skin tones with Copic markers, and that's in the iCards. So um, you can check that out if you want to know how I coloured the skin. So washi tape is something that I think a lot of you are likely to have. You're all likely to have a couple of rolls of washi tape somewhere in your house or your stash, and... There are loads of videos online about how to use washi tapes, DIY ideas, there's all, loads of stuff about uh, using washi tape. But I'm going to show you how to um, use it in an illustration. And this video was requested. A couple of weeks back I did this illustration here, this collage illustration, and I used this pink kind of flower, tropical flowered washi tape to colour in her dress. And the reason I did that is that I wanted a very detailed pattern on her dress in the foreground but if I had drawn this I it would have taken me ages to have drawn all that out to have colored it but using the washi tape took me about you know 40 seconds to cut the washi tape and to place it on her dress and it gives you a really lovely patterned look in a very short amount of time so it's a using washi tape to color areas like this is a big time saver as well as it being a good way to use your washi tape it also gives you a good excuse to buy more washi tape uh, just because you can justify buying it because it's a colouring medium, it's a colouring supply. Just like you would justify buying a pen or a pencil, but you're going to use them to colour multiple pieces with. So let's get started with colouring with the washi tape. And I'm going to get started by making a border with the washi tape. Now this is this is a very simple and easy way to start with an illustration and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this thin strip of washi tape up against the black line here and it doesn't matter if it overlaps the two end pieces I'm just going to line it up press it down and the nice thing about washi tape and this is very this is 300 gram uh, very smooth cardstock the nice thing about washi tape is that if you get it wrong, you can peel it up again really easily. So it, it doesn't tend to rip the paper. So what I want to do is I want to take the X-Acto knife now and I want to go along that line. And you want to press down firmly to cut it. And it, it won't cut the underneath paper either. So just cut down, hold down like that, press and then just use the... T Sometimes you have to go couple of times to cut it. Dep it depends on how sharp your X-Acto knife is. I think the blade on this one may need replacing so it may not be as sharp as it was the day I bought it. But there. And I'm going to go round the entire edge and place this diagonal strip. So just adding those little border segments instantly brings some interest to the border and it makes it look really pretty so you could just stop there and color the rest of the image now with this tutorial I'm going to 
go to town on the washi tape and place quite a bit of it on the drawing but normally I would use washi tape more um, less is more in other words with washi tape so I wouldn't I wouldn't go crazy with the washi tape I would place it strategically in places to add a little bit of extra pattern and interest but because um, this tutorial would be rather boring if I just just did that and did nothing else I'm going to go further today and I'll start with this corner this side here because this is the easier side I don't I don't along here I'd have to do quite a bit of cutting cutting out with the exacto knife and What's really useful with this is that the these thin strips actually fit almost perfectly this border. Didn't plan that at all, but that's just how it worked out. I love it when things work out like that. Anyway, so another thing that you could do with washi tape um, and how you could use it in your artwork, I'm t you can always use it to mask things. Because the washi tape doesn't tend to tear paper and it comes up very easily, you can always use it to mask watercolour paper or to mask things when you're colouring. So now I'm going to come down here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to cover the whole thing and this is a sort of a tip for when you're having to um, cut washi tape around different... just a second, let me place this and then I'll... Uh, explain what I mean. It's a bit difficult to place and explain at the same time. Okay. So now what I was saying is when you have a design that's quite complicated like like this border is, there are paintbrushes sticking up on top of it, there's the hair, I find it's easier to place first and then cut out the pieces that you want to come away. So go down with your washi tape. You can still see, I don't know if you can see that, but you can still see the... let me just focus the camera, you can still see the black lines through this clear washi tape and that's useful because I can just go along the black lines and cut out the pieces. So let me see if this works, yes, cut that piece out there, then I want to follow the line here and this is where you really do need an X-Acto knife, you can't do this with a pair of scissors. And you want to be careful not to cut too hard that you tear the paper, but normally you can press down quite um, firmly and the paper will stay intact. And let me just get that little bit there. So you can see you've got the, the washi tape border and then the hair coming over the top of it. And that's really nice because it really adds to the dimension of the drawing and it makes it look like the washi tape is indeed behind the hair and that's really what you want. So I'm just going to go ahead now, I'll just place this last bit down here again with the hearts facing, facing outwards. Let me just place this corner. It's important to get all your, if you're doing a square like this, it's important to get the corners lined up. Now that is all cut out now, and as you can see, all the paintbrushes are now on top of the bordered background. And you do have to be a little careful when you're cutting out things that are so close together, so make sure that you the, the um, washi tape is properly stuck down, otherwise you can kind of tear up the whole thing, but it's easy to fix um, and just lay a new piece down if you muck up. Washi tape, you can just tear it up if you cut it wrong and stick some more back down again. So that is using washi tape as the borders. Now I'm going to use washi tape to colour in these sections here. So what I'm going to do I'm going to lay it down, which way should I lay it down? It doesn't really matter. Lay it down like that first. Then I'm going to go ahead and trim that triangle. Trim at a diagonal to get that. And then trim there. Just kind of, ah, there it is. And then I could, maybe I could use that. Does that fit there? Yes, it does. It's a miracle. This doesn't usually happen to me normally. I have to cut hundreds of pieces. Anyway, so that fits there. And then I just need to take a tiny little bit more. And when you're doing, um, when you've got a pattern repeat that's not linear, so nothing that's got hard lines like stripes or hexagons or anything like that, um, you can kind of overlap it and it's, it doesn't look it still looks good because it, because of the pattern repeats. Alright, so the blue spots are filled in and we have this really nice blue and purple border around our piece. 
And one of the things that you need to keep in mind, that's useful to keep in mind as you're working, is the placement of the patterns. So if you've got linear patterns, make sure they're all going in the right direction. If you've got uh, little objects like the hearts, make sure that they're all going in a uniform direction. So with the hearts on here, I made sure that they were all pointing outwards. And then with, but with the things, um, but with patterns like the spots, it doesn't matter too much because it's a repeat pattern. So you can layer the washi tape over top of each other and it all kind of just blends together. So you don't have to worry too much about which direction you place the tape when you've got a repeat pattern like that. that. It's only when you have linear patterns, patterns that are very uh, complicated like this one or patterns that have objects in it that you just want to kind of be thoughtful about the placement of your... Um, of your washi tape. So we've done borders with washi tape and I think washi tape makes excellent borders. It's one of the places that I use washi tape the most is to make borders and to fill in sort of random, um, large random shapes as well. So this is looking really pretty at the moment and now we're going to uh, place some more washi tape and another way that I look at placing washi tape is to look at places in the drawing that would naturally have patterns. So clothing for example. Clothing is an excellent place to put washi tape because clothing can in real life often have complicated designs and patterns on it. And the same for like the mug but clothing, the hair tie, the mug, these are places that would in reality often have a, a brightly coloured pattern so when you put the washi tape down it doesn't look out of place. It looks like, um, it looks not realistic but it looks it looks more natural there. So you want to be, you want to think carefully about where you place your tape. You don't want to just place it everywhere or anywhere. You want to think quite strategically about where to put it and how to balance it out. And as always, I'm going to place it on top of the mug. And then I'm going to go round the edge and cut, cut the border out like this. And actually I could cut a bit of the that out as well. And I want to tear it up gently. You want to be quite gentle as you tear up of the because if you've um even though washi tape doesn't tend to rip the paper, if you've stuck one bit down really hard as you were placing, um then it will rip it when you if you tear it up too quickly. So you want to be gentle when you tear up your pieces. So there and you I could almost do um I, on, the, on this mug I could do two different types of washi tapes, I could layer up different ones, I think that would look nice. So if I take this purpley one here and I'll place that in the centre and I'll trim this edge, this edge here, trim there and then trim round the handle so that the pattern, this kind of um, layered effect follows through on the pattern as well. So tear that up carefully and tear out, t take up this middle section. And the other good thing about using the X-Acto knife is that you can kind of go in and pop down the little corners if things come up. So that's looking quite fun. And now we'll just put the top layer on. So I think the mug turned out really pretty there with the strip down the, um, the two different washi tapes put together and there is a bit at the back that I could do um, at the moment I think that would be really fiddly to cut out so I may just go in with a, a pink marker and just colour the back of the jar there at the back of the mug I mean there so now we want to place some more and at this point I'm now kind of looking at balancing out the colours a bit more just kind of sticking this little corner here keeps popping up let me just kind of press it down anyway um, so other places that the washi tape might look more natural on is on the labels of the paint pots. Right, so we've got the labels done and that, that is helping to balance this bit out by bringing it up there a bit more. And now I want to put some different tapes down on her clothes here. Now if you're wondering why I leave such a long tail end on the end of my tape, um, the reason for that is that it can be really difficult to cut. If you have only if you have only a really tiny bit on the end and you're trying to cut it, it can kind of wrinkle up. So you do end up 
you do end up kind of wasting a little bit of it um, when you're cutting out your shapes but it's much easier if you have a longer tail on the end of it. It's kind of nice to keep any large scraps for a bit in case you find a little place that needs just a little bit of the tape and then you can you can go ahead and use up your little scraps that way. I just wanted to show you something quite interesting here. Let me just focus the camera. Here you can see where I've layered up the stripes. Well I was thinking that you can also get some really cool effects just layering and you could almost get some different shadows if you wanted as well so there's lots to experiment with with the washi tape. So the drawing is now all done. I went ahead and coloured in the whole thing just so that you guys could see how the washi tape looked when the rest of the drawing was coloured and so that this page in my colouring book is now complete. I think it looks really nice. I'm loving the colour palette. I used my Copic markers to colour in with and I I tried to match the Copic colours to the washi tape colours. We use the washi tape to make borders, you can use washi tape to fill large random shapes, you can use washi tape to fill shapes that would naturally or normally have patterns on them so that the washi tape doesn't look too out of place and that's what I try to do all over the pattern, um, all over the illustration. I put the labels on the paints, I put a bit of washi tape around the Copic markers, sometimes you'll see people put washi tape around their Copic markers, um, you may see that in videos occasionally, and I put washi tape in the hair tie, in the clothes and in the palette here, just in places where patterns may normally occur in real life so that the washi tape uh, doesn't look too out of place. I would definitely advise working with a limited colour palette both for the Copics and for the washi tape and I used five different colours for this illustration here and all the colours go well together. I'm missing one, where is it? Oh there it is. So these are the five that I used and as you can see varying sizes and varying tones but in a palette that looks really nice together. So this is video one on washi tape. I hope to do a lot more in the future and this is how you can colour using washi tape. So try thinking about your washi tape as you would a pen or a pencil and see if you can apply that to your work, whether it's illustrations, colouring books, scrapbooking, card making, whatever. Just see, um, just if you think about it as your washi tape as a colour to utilise then um, that can just be a little uh, just a different mindset a different way of thinking about how to use it so anyway I really hope you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more and leave a comment down below and tell, uh, tell me if you use washi tape in your art and share your tips and tricks for using washi tape um, because I know that I'm interested and the other people in the comments will be interested as well so I will see you guys next week for another creative coloring tutorial and until then have a creative week